I have a new problem to tackle today. So these are my container green onions. I've had these in this pot for roughly two years now. Um, you can see they're way overgrown. I actually don't mind though, because like right now, see they've gone to seed and I'm hoping to populate this and uh, grow some more green onions out of there. They, they do better in cooler weather, so I'm really not forcing them. Um, and I gotta do a little bit of research to find out when the best time to pick these is. But in the meantime, I've got critters. So I'm not sure I can get close enough with the camera, but see all those little black specks? I didn't know what they were. I had to reach out on Facebook and get some help. They, they're actually aphids, I think. Uh, they're an onion aphid and they are everywhere on here which is super annoying I wonder if I can use the zoom feature Sam yeah they're nasty little guys and they're everywhere I tried neem oil which is a, a natural kind of, uh, I don't want to call it an insecticide, but it's supposed to be an organic way of preventing certain things. I tried soap and water. That didn't do it. So, we're going to use duct tape. Uh, believe it or not, this is a method a lot of, a lot of gardeners use. You cut this off and you pat down the leaf. So, let me set this down, get this on my hand, and, and we'll film that. Okay, I have tape that I am going to just wrap on my hand and go around and literally pick them up. So let's see how this does. I mean, it picks them up pretty easily. If nothing else, it'll bring the infestation down. So these are bad for your plant because they suck it dry. We do not want them sucking our plants dry. We want our plants to keep their moisture, thank you very much. So that is why we're doing what we can to remove them. Shirt living in there. I don't know if you can see him, probably not. See? Those are all aphids. Look at them. See all them? Gross. Bad. Bad bugs. But this will help a little anyway. Until I can find a better solution. Uh, ladybugs are supposed to be wonderful for handling aphids. I do see them around in my lawn here and there, so if I find one, I will certainly transplant him into this container garden, and he can go to town. He can feast. That's, that's fine by me. So, there you see. It's a little bit better. I don't think I got all of them. I probably will have to do another pass. Um, it's easier to do when I have both hands, so, and I'm not also trying to talk to the camera. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I will keep at this. See if I can't get rid of these little boogers. And if anybody has any better tips for getting rid of onion aphids, because like I said, I tried, uh, I tried neem oil. I tried soap and water. They just looked at me and laughed, so... <laughs> <laughs> Any help here is definitely appreciated, so bye!